I am Barbara Russell, Treasurer, Secretary and Part-Time Gardener for Eldcourt Community Gardens and my husband is John Russell, Main Gardener and Vice Chairman of the Eldercourt Community Gardens. When we moved into Eldercourt, the garden areas had prickly and ugly bushes which were an eyesore and we and other residents decided that we would like to create a garden and seating area for the use of the residents. One of the residents said that he already had permission from Hambrin Homes to do this work. When we created the new gardens we had to take out the bushes, rotivate the ground, add soil enhancer and buy one ton of soil to level out the area and we developed two different types of gardens. But then Hindman Holmes said that we did not have permission and that they would destroy the gardens. After a meeting with Hindman Holmes' housing manager and discussions with our two local councillors, I wrote to Hindman Holmes to ask for permission to create the gardens and this was granted. The councillors gave us advice on getting started with funding etc and Hindman Holmes personnel were very helpful with advice on plants and ensuring the gardens. We needed to have a constitution, create a bank account and elect a committee. From there, we were given a list of organisations which could provide funding for equipment, plants, etc. We were very successful and got funding from O2, Green Partnership, Asco Nobel, Hindman Borough Council, Hindman Homes and Huncourt in Bloom. Most residents were very supportive but another court and a few residents were quite vocal in their opposition and did occasionally make things difficult. However, we had the full backing of the police, Hamburg Homes, the council and most residents, so we continued our work and have been rewarded with several grants and a merit award from Northwest in Bloom. We have moved from Elder Court, but we are still very much involved in the Elder Court community gardens. The gardens created a great deal of publicity. Photographs and reports were in the Accrington Observer and several organisations came up to look around. Harbin Homes are very keen to get other areas involved in similar community garden projects.